Can we do subnetting? Are you guys all good? Everybody's good? I'm watching. No, we want to learn about it. <laughs> so if we had an IP address of 168.10.0 slash 24, and we had a requirement. Subnet, 60 hosts, and then another one, 20 hosts, and then another one with, let's say, two hosts for a point-to-point -point connection. How would we proceed? And so the first thing that we do is we select the request with the largest number of hosts, which would be number one in this case, and I place them in order. And then we'd say, now, how many host bits do I need so that I could fulfill this network request? Well, since I started out with 24 network bits, that means that I have eight host bits. And so now I know that I have enough bits available, enough host bits available to fulfill the request. And so I can quickly see that 2 to the 6th power gives me 64 addresses, of which 62 are usable, right? And so if I start at 192, 168.10.0 through 192.168.10.63, and then knowing that I had six host bits, so I could say 32 minus 6 leaves me with a slash 26 for my network bits. And then from there I could construct my subnet mask. And since I have 26 network bits, I could look at uh, my subnet mask as an 8 dot 8 dot what's that? 8 dot Two, right? Eight bits, eight bits, eight bits, and two bits. So that gives me my 26 used up. And then, of course, there's only there's six host bits in the fourth octet. And with that in mind, my subnet mask is 255, 255, 255.192. Yes? Mm -hmm. And so the start of my next subnet, then, if I could box that out, would be 192.168.10.64. And so I continue through this process and I grab my next largest requirement, which is 20 addresses. So I know that there's no binary, easy binary number that's whole that gives me 20, so I have to move to 32. So I need an increment of 32 addresses, which means that I'll use 10.64 through 10.95. And don't be tricked by adding 32 to use a 10 dot, to say that the end of your subnet is 10.96, because you have to count 64, sure. since we're using the address of 64 as well, right? So we go forward 31 addresses, and then add back the one for 64. We have a total of 32 addresses. In that case, since I have five host bits, I could just easily subtract 32 minus 5, leaves me with a slash 27, which is 8 dot 8.3, eight dot and then if I put that into decimal notation for the subnet mask, I have 255, 255, 255, 224. So that would be the subnet mask for this subnet. And then lastly, <coughs> and I'll just try to box that off somehow, the start of my next subnet 192.168.10.96 and my requirement is for a total of two usable addresses and so I also have to have a network and then a broadcast address so that means I need two host bits, two to the second power and with two host bits I would have 96, 97, 98 and then 99, right? So that's through 10.99 with two host bits, that leaves 30 network bits. And so 30 network bits slash 30 is 8.8.8.6. .8 .8 .6. 
and then the subnet mask is 255, 255, 255.252. 255 so the start of my next subnet then is 192.168.10.100. How's that? And so then you take this principle and you apply it to even larger requirements, which we can do next if you'd like.